Hey, what's happening guys? Michael Nerby here with another update for you for specifically my buyers out there who have some questions about what's going on specifically with interest rates. Now, we want to talk about these today because interest rates vary through time. You know, if we were to talk about interest rates in the 70s compared to the 90s compared to 2017, it's all going to be a very, very different story. And what I want to fill you guys in with is some of the trends that we've seen over the past couple of months and then over the past couple of years. So what we'll do is I'm going to pull up this graph right here. And you can see from here we have January 2017 where we are today all the way back to April 2016 last year. Now, as you can see, we were tracking this line right here is our 3.75 line. And right here, this is our 4.25% for our interest rates. Now, you can see all last year we tracked all just below 3.75 and at one point below 3.5. Then we had November right here. And we had an increase in our interest rate quite dramatically through here. And it's now leveled off since January and December of this year into where we're seeing it right below the 4.25 mark. Now, that might not mean something to you if we we're only looking over the past year for our information you'd say, well, now interest rates are significantly higher than they were last year. What's very important to keep in perspective is our long-term interest rate view. So here we can see that we have 2017 all the way back to 2013. So our interest rate, you know, on average has been right above the 3.75 mark. When we look at where we are today, compared to her historical average, we really are kind of nearing the top of what we saw all throughout late 2013 and all throughout pretty much all of 2014. You can see that we've been really tracking in the, the high threes for over three years now. And last year in our summer season, it was some of the lowest interest rates we've seen since 2013. Now, if I had a crystal ball and I could predict the future, which I, for sometimes I really wish I could, so that way I could really inform my clients, you know, on what's to come. Unfortunately, we know that I can't, but what I can tell you is what historically interest rates have done. And what we can predict is, you know, we had a federal increase in the long-term rate in December, and the Federal Reserve has predicted or stated that they want to increase rates again three more times this year. Now, sometimes that has an effect on the mortgage rates, causing them to go up, but they are not corollary, and sometimes the interest rate can go down. So, just keeping track of this is very, very good. And what I recommend as a real estate agent is that you definitely reach out to a local lender or financer, banker, someone who can keep you up to date because in reality, these interest rates change daily and even hourly. So hopefully you found that this historical perspective on interest rates really, really helpful. If you have further questions about buying interest rates or what it looks like to get qualified for a mortgage, please feel free to reach out. Let's go grab a cup of coffee and I can introduce you to a few select lenders that I really trust and who really do a great job in the Sacramento. Thanks for tuning in. Make it a great day.